Hi everyone, this is Bilal Khan and you are watching Simplified Coding. We created the UI for the phone verification in our project. Now this is the time to verify the phone number. So let's do it. So inside your project, come inside the verify phone fragment. And here we are going to write some code. So when we will click on this button, which is button send verification code, first we will get the phone number from the input field and we will also validate the phone number. So first, let's get the phone number from the edit text. So I will create a val phone and I will get the phone from the edit text phone. So we will write edit text phone and it is inside fragment verify phone as you can see. So edit text phone dot text dot to string and we will also trim it to remove the spaces. Now we will check if phone is empty. If the phone is empty or the length of the phone is not equals to 10. So if this is the case, that means we have some error in the phone number. So in that case, we will display the error message. So we will write error equals to enter a valid phone. And then we will request the focus and we will stop the further execution. Now, if the phone is okay, we will get the country code. So we will create a new val phone number. Now this phone number will include the country code that is selected in the country code option. And before the country code, we need to prefix the plus sign as well. It is needed because in Firebase auth, we need to use the full phone number with the country code and the plus sign. So it is very important. Now we will concatenate the selected country code and to get the country code, we will use this country code picker and the ID is CCP. So come back to verify phone fragment and here we will write CCP dot selected country code. So we have the country code and now after the country code, we will concatenate this phone. So we will do it like this. Now we have the complete phone number and we will use this phone number to send the verification code. And to send the verification code, we use the phone auth provider class that is inside Firebase. So we will use phone auth provider dot get instance and then we have a function named verify phone number. Now inside this function, we need to pass some parameters. The first parameter is the phone number itself. And here we need to pass the complete phone number with plus sign and country code. So we will pass this phone number. Now the next parameter is the timeout. And after the timeout value, we need to define the time unit as well. So in this case, I am going to use seconds. So here I will write time unit dot seconds. And we need two more parameters which are activity and the callback. So after this function, we will create the callback and to create the callback, we use the on verification status changed callback. So we created like this. So we will write val phone auth callbacks. You can name it anything equals to we need to write object then phone auth provider and inside this class we have this abstract class which is on verification state changed callbacks. So we will write it like this. Now we need to implement some functions inside this on verification state changed callbacks. And to implement the functions, you just need to press alt enter, select implement members and implement on verification completed and on verification failed. So we have two functions. The first function is when the verification is completed successfully. So it will perform the verification automatically. As you can see now all the apps verifies the phone number automatically and user do not need to enter the OTP. But in some cases, user may need to enter the OTP as well. So we keep both the options. So if the automatic verification succeeds, so in that case, this function will be called. And here we have the phone auth credential instance. So I will rename it to credential or phone auth credential 
like this and this function is when the verification is failed so i will name it exception now if the verification fails we can simply display a toast and we will get the error message from this exception instance so we can write exception dot message like this and we need to put a null safety here so if verification fails we will just display the error message if the verification completed in this case we will call a function but before calling the function we will check if this phone auth credential is null or not so here we will write phone auth credential then a question mark and then dot let to verify the credential is not null so if it is not null we will call a function and i will name this function as add phone number and i will pass the credential and we have the credential here phone auth credential so i will just write it here now we need to create this function as well and to generate this function you can press alt enter and then select create function and we will create this function inside verify phone fragment and you can see the function is created now we don't need a return type here and inside this function we will add the phone number with the help of this credential to our firebase user so here we will simply write firebase auth dot get instance and then current user and then a null safety operator and we will call the function update phone number now this function takes a phone auth credential object and from this object it will add the phone number that was verified to this user so we just need to pass this phone auth credential instance here now we can also attach an add on complete listener to get the call back when this task is completed so when we have add on complete listener we have a task object inside it so we can directly write here a task or you can use it if you want now here we will check if task is successful so if this is the case we will write context toast the extension function that we created is this toast and we will write phone added or updated whatever you want to display to the user now when we have success we will navigate the user back to the profile fragment and to do this we will use the action that we created in our navigation graph so this is our navigation graph and this is our action that we already created and the action is action phone verified so we will use this action to navigate back to the profile fragment so come inside the verify phone fragment class and here we will get the action first and to get the action we will use verify phone fragment directions so create an action here while action equals to verify phone fragment directions and we have an action phone verified function inside this class now we will write navigation dot find nav controller and here we can pass button verify and then we will navigate to this action so just pass the action and we are done now in case if the task is not successful we will just display the error in toast with the error message so we will get the error message from this task instance so here we can write task dot exception dot message and that's it so this function is ready now we will use this phone auth callbacks into our phone auth provider get instance verify phone number function now this function takes phone number then the timeout duration then the time unit then our activity but because we are inside a fragment we can use the function require activity to pass the activity and the last parameter is the phone auth callbacks that we just created so we will write phone auth callbacks here and everything is fine now once we send the phone verification sms to the specified phone number we will hide the layout phone 
which is to get the phone number from the user and then we will display the verification layout where user can enter the verification code but in most of the cases we will verify the user automatically inside this function on verification completed function and we can make this phone auth callbacks private that's why it is giving a warning and we need to take care about one more thing sometime it happens that it is not able to automatically verify the phone number in that case user will enter the verification code received by the sms and then we will create a phone auth credential object with the help of the code that user will enter to do this we need to override one more function here and this function is override fun on code sent now it contains two parameters the first parameter is the verification id so i will name it verification id and it is of type string and the next parameter is the token so i will name it token we don't need this token but we need this verification id to generate the phone auth credential that is automatically generated here but in case user needs to input the otp manually we need to create the phone auth credential manually and to do this we will pass the verification id here and token here and when this function is called so basically this function is called when the code is sent so here we need to store this verification id into a global variable so inside my class i will create a var which is private var verification id and it is of type string and i will make it nullable and the initial value is null now when this function is called i will store this verification id to this verification id and to do this i can write here this at the rate verify phone fragment dot verification id to refer this verification id or if you do not want to do like this you can change the variable name and it is equals to verification id that's it now we have the verification id now when the user enters the code manually then user will tap on the button button verify so we need to add a click listener on button verify as well so inside the function on view created i will attach a click listener on button verify at the bottom so here i will write button verify dot set on click listener and inside this click listener first i will get the code from the edit text that the user will enter if the automatic verification fails so here we will write val code equals to edit text code dot text dot to string dot trim and the same way we will add the validation as well so we will check if code is empty so in case the code is empty we will set the error message that code required and then we will request the focus and we will stop the further execution now if we have a code we need to generate a phone auth credential object and to generate the phone auth credential object first we need to check this verification id is not null and we can easily do it with let so here we will write verification id question mark dot let so it will come inside this block only when the verification id is not null so if this is the case we will create a credential using phone auth provider dot get credential function now this function takes two parameters the first parameter is the verification id and we have the verification id inside this et so we can pass et and the next parameter is the code that is entered by the user so we have the code here so we will pass code now finally we will call this function that we created to add the phone number it takes phone auth credential as a parameter and then it adds the phone number to the current user 
so we will just call this function here so we have add phone number and then we will pass the credential instance that we just created so everything is fine and I think it should work so now let's try running this application but when you are working with phone authentication you need to run your application in a real device so it will not work in emulator so I will run it in my oneplus 60 so this is our application let's try signing in yeah so we are inside the application now go to profile click on add number and here we need to enter the phone number so I will enter my phone number and then tap send code and you can see the phone number is added in my profile so it is working absolutely fine so that is all for this video friends I hope you found it helpful and if you did then please share this video with your friends in case you have any problem you can leave the comments below and I will try to help you out so thanks for watching everyone this is Bilal Khan now signing off